Yo, what is up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, make sure to subscribe button down below and go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up to start it off. That does help me out a lot. I do appreciate that, but let's get straight into today's video. I do have an unboxing. Also, I feel like I always wear this hoodie. Like, I'm always either in the minimal LA hoodie or my Fog Essentials hoodie for every single video. I'm sorry, that's just like what I wear all winter long. Just cozy vibes. So, yeah, sorry. I just realized all my videos I'm in this freaking hoodie, but... We do have this package and I'm so excited for it. As you can tell by the title, it is another Fear of God Essentials pickup, which you know I've been picking those up like crazy and I need to chill, but I know I'm not because I regret not getting any shorts because now like the drops are pretty much done and short season is going to be coming here soon. So hopefully they do some short drops uh, soon, but basically this item is the first Fog Essentials item I had to pay resale for. And I didn't want to. I really didn't. But I took L's. And I know there was lots of sites that had it and like random restocks throughout the whole day of the knit hoodie restock. But I was at work and I was a little late so they were already gone on PacSun. And then Essence by the time I made it on there they only had bigger sizes left and I need a medium in this. And even then like I'm, I hear that they're even bigger than the hoodies. So eventually I'm going to do like a size comparison video on these compared to the regular hoodies. Uh, but first it's just going to be unboxing, review, first thought, and on body so you can see how it does actually fit. So let's open it. I did buy it off a Facebook group I'm in for if you know Locust and Wild Honey, the YouTuber. He has a Facebook group that I'm in. And actually it's one of his friends that's in his videos is actually who I bought it off of. So I paid $145 shipped. So $45 over, which isn't awful to be honest. And this box is heavy, like for being a hoodie. Cause my sister was like, what did you get in the mail? It's heavy. And I was like, Ugh, a hoodie, but there it is. She's thick. And yeah, I got it in the black, which is the color I liked. I liked it the best. I don't know why. I just felt like, I felt like it really stood out like i don't know i liked it and i do want another color eventually but this is the only one i will pay resale for i think if they do a restock i obviously will go for other colors um but yeah black was my favorite from initial pictures and such and it like it's heavy like this hood is nice but it's still the same everything like you still have the rubber plaque there essentials on the front just like the knitted hoodies nothing on the sleeves but the knit material is nice. It's thick, which some people were complaining about like how thick it was, but here in Ohio, it is cold and I already know I'm gonna be wearing this thing like crazy. So I, it does look like a good size. I think small would be too small, but man, this thing is crazy. The knits go crazy. I have one of the crew necks and like the gray, amazing quality and fit in this thing, but it's like weird. It's like the hood that's like this part. I mean, it has weight to it, but this hood, it's like, I don't know, this side uh, feels like I'm like holding a child. And the inside is like, looks like the charcoal gray one I have to be honest. But I saw someone online, her name's Skylar, she's in that Facebook group, I'll pop up the picture. She wore hers, I don't know if it was probably the off-white or olive or taupe or cream colorway, I don't know. There's so many colorways and they all sound the same. But she wore hers inside out, which I really think looked cool and I think people are going to see that. And definitely take inspiration from it so if you start seeing that wouldn't be shocked um but yeah here I, it is dead stock. oh they were 90 dollars. i thought these were 100 were they 100 on pack sun i feel like they were i don't know i always go to pack sun for them i've had i gotten some stuff from essentials from march from before though but yeah i guess we'll just try on see how it looks um and then yeah, it's like weird because you can see the under layer of the like white that's behind it like through the seams which is interesting this thing heavy though so yeah i'm gonna try it on show you guys what it looks like on body and tell you how it feels like wearing it so cut to that all right here it is this thing is crazy when i was putting it on i felt like i was like being weighted down because it's so heavy, but once you put it on, it feels cozy, fine. Like it's it's not a scratchy, itchy, annoying knit, which I like. And a lot of people say the sleeves are super long, and like they fit 
I mean, they're a little long. Like, I did size down. I'm usually a true size large. But in everything Fear of God Essentials, I do get a medium. It fits perfectly on me and exactly how I want it to fit. I mean, it is still, like, oversized and baggy, which is what I'm going for. I'm going to show you guys what it looks like now. Just some B-roll on body. And this thing is crazy. Mad cozy. Like, like I know I'm going to definitely get wear out of this. Like, I'm... It's definitely worth having to pay resale for because this is definitely a piece I wanted to have in my collection for a long time. Since I paid so much for this, I'm definitely going to be selling stuff on my Depop. So check out my Depop at Stevie Josh 3. There could be some Fog Essentials items that I don't wear anymore on there um, and just some other items. So yeah, go check me out there. But let's go to the B-roll now. <laughs> This piece is definitely crazy. I mean, I know like just from this angle, it looks just like a black hoodie, but the details like in person, this thing is crazy. So if you haven't got a knit hoodie and you're debating it, definitely suggest getting one. I think that the prices will probably rise. They're not really reselling for crazy amounts. Like with it getting shipped to you and everything, you're probably looking between 140 to 160 um, for most colors. So definitely, definitely cop one if you are on the market for one or if they do restock i definitely suggest going for it i'll probably go for other colors uh, obviously for right now it's it's good i mean it's winter um this is not a piece you can wear in spring or fall, probably not even maybe fall like the colder fall days like if you live in cold areas like i live in ohio so it's gonna be colder i definitely i definitely recommend it for you guys i hope you did enjoy this review it's just a quick unboxing um i'm still gonna have other videos with this comparing it to hoodie sizing and yeah you'll definitely see me styling this a lot on my instagram it's at stevie jash3 if you guys want to follow me over there i do post some fit pics and yeah it would be great to see you guys over there on instagram and i'll see you guys next time always remember don't be afraid to be different bye